I think the crowd was awesome all night, and I'd say it was the second loudest you know I personally ever felt in the Lake House. I, you know, myself and Devin Bush, we reached out you know, through, uh, through University of Michigan, reached out and asked the fans if they could step up their game and bring it, and they did just that. So we're, we're fueling them, they're fueling us. Um, I think it's got a great relationship rolling. I think uh, you know a couple weeks ago uh, we you know first beat Wisconsin. I think the revenge tour. You know we kind of had a bandwagon there. I think uh, you know we're rolling through these last couple games and, and eventually into Columbus with like we're like a battleship. I think everyone's trying to hop in. Uh, and hop on, and uh, yeah, we've got momentum, we just got to keep it rolling week by week. What was, the, what was the loudest game, Chase? What, what, what was the loudest game you said? The loudest was the Ohio State last year. There was a point uh, when we were on defense, and I think it was like the second, second or third series, where like, you see me turn, and I'm yelling that there's, an eagle, or there's a check, which meant something, something for like the linebackers and the inside guys. And um, I wasn't sure if the, the guy next to me was able to hear it. Uh, it was just it was that loud. So, Chase, I know the Revenge Tour has dates that are always on time. Yeah, I'm just a big picture for a second. This win uh, really keeps you in the talk for those top four spots, which I know are the ultimate goals to win. You do what you got to do and still be playing um, early winter 19. Can you just speak to what you guys did today to keep the drink away? I feel like the question kind of answers itself. I'm just looking at the score for the odds. Actions speak louder than words, and uh, won the game. You know, they, they beat us hand in hand. We're, we're putting ourselves in the best position possible. I, you know, like I said, I, I don't know how to answer that question without being too disrespectful. Penn State, Penn State alone, this this keeps your dreams alive to get to that point. Right. Though, yeah. It? We're not worried about keeping our dreams. We're just worried about winning games. Like this. It's not, I don't think it's that deep. I think we're just, like I said, just trying to win one game at a time. Focus on the last game. You get, you get two diverted. You know, you know, you start to actually There's a quote in our office. You know, it's like you know, you're, you're looking at the uh, target and uh, you're thinking about the gold prize. And all of a sudden, your aim gets a little off because you know, you're in your mind. You're thinking about that. But we're just focusing on the last game. Winning games. You can win it. Yeah, the fact that, that they're saying these next two games you guys are going to roll and you're going to oh, roll. It doesn't matter you know, what they say. Our coaches, like I said, trust me, they will do a great job of making sure that we come in on, on Monday and Tuesday and we feel like you know we're the most average defense in the country. So like, there is there's no problem <laughs> with feeling too confident come uh, Tuesday. Chase, what was Don Brown's reaction when they scored that touchdown later? Did the whole defense. Coach Brown was was uh, he was an interesting character today because I expected at, at some point, you know, that that excited, happy, go, you know, just that attitude to come out like you know, I've seen in other games. Um, and even after he won, uh, you, you could tell. I don't, I, you know, I'm not a master interpreter of how people's emotions are, but I think. The guy's got bigger things on his mind, and he's, he's already shifted to next week. And, um, he just he wants to keep this thing rolling. He's, he's not getting complacent, and he's not going to let us get complacent. Chase, we talked uh, a few weeks back before Wisconsin about going into this stretch, really proving that you guys had had football changes in Notre Dame. What do you think you proved over the last three years? I think we proved that we can win football games. <laughs> Uh, at the end of the day, you know, that's, that's all that matters, and uh, that's what we're doing. So sometimes the rest of them, everything else, like our interpretation, whether you know we're one of the best defense in the country or our offense, you know, can put up points. You can just look at the evidence and, and make your own assumptions on that.